everybody! Welcome to the Be a Friend Project. It's October, National Anti-Bullying Month, and it's your on-air Teen Ambassador, Brielle. Today, I'm announcing our second friend mail recipient of season six. His name is Alejandro. He's 13 years old and lives in Montreal, Canada. Wait, did I just say Canada? Congratulations, everyone! We're, We're going, going international! Cyber bullies have no boundaries, but neither does kindness and friendship. Ambassadors, this is our first opportunity to bring our friend strong best of the U.S. to our friend across the border, showing him that we are friend strong. Alejandro is an honor roll student with an amazing heart. His mom tells us he is smart, ambitious, brave, respectful, and caring. He loves mentoring kids, and he's a great brother. His teachers love him for being polite and genuinely kind to others. Alejandro's goal is to become a pilot ever since he was three years old. That's so cool. He's even been accepted into the Royal Canadian Air Cadets, a national youth program for 12 to 19 year olds, but that's on hold due to the pandemic. Alejandro school closed last spring due to COVID-19. He resumed his studies virtually at home, which his mom admits was a relief because it was a break from the constant bullying at first. Alejandro has been a target of bullying since the first grade when kids flickered his ears and called him names like weird and stupid. Every year, there was at least one student who targeted him, pushed him and called him names. At home, he'd have night terrors and cry many nights. Even though they went to the principal, they were told nothing could be done without physical evidence. This past summer, isolated at home, like the rest of us, Alejandro began playing video games like Fortnite with the neighborhood kids, a group of four boys who often picked on him for his Spanish heritage. The leader of the pack was once best friends with Alejandro, but now he was becoming his main bully, one minute acting like a friend, and the next putting him down and leading the other three boys to follow. These four boys are into gaming and soccer, while Alejandro is into drawing, animation, and planes. Alejandro won a robotics engineering plaque. Wow! But these four boys call him immature and weird because his Instagram pages are all about planes instead of what they think is interesting. It's not easy for Alejandro to make new friends because he's very shy. So through the summer of COVID-19, he tried very hard to make these online friendships work. Like most bully kids, he didn't tell his parents about the cyberbullying at first. He was afraid they would intervene again and make matters worse. But soon the cruelty became too much. He finally asked his mom, heartbroken, why are they calling me all these names? His mom reviewed his game chats and Instagram messages and saw the boys were calling him curse words and ugly and ethnic slurs like Taco Bell. They called him lame after he suggested they try a different game. When Alejandro attempted to reason with them, they threatened him, texting him things like, Don't write back. We're going to gang up and beat you. We don't like you. Nobody likes you. Because of this, Alejandro has been off video games since June. His parents reported the bullies to Instagram. Instagram then shut them down, but only for a two-week penalty. Alejandro blocked the bullies on all his social media accounts, but the lead bully made it his mission to recruit other friends to use their accounts to send mean messages. Alejandro is now left with no friends at all. The students have returned to school, but these bullies have told their classmates, don't sit with him, don't associate with him. Alejandro eats alone at lunch. In Canada, homeschooling is not allowed, leaving no way to remove him from this ongoing bullying. Ambassadors, we can make a difference and let Alejandro know he's friends strong. Tell him how proud you are of his kindness, his good grades and ambition. It's so amazing that he's going to be a pilot. Differences are cool. Check out our new website at www.beafriendproject.org. There's a new page where you can send a virtual letter instantly. 
We're also accepting short video clips of support less than 30 seconds. Send us your video as an email attachment to jennifer at beafriendproject.org or if it's too large, send us a link to it on your Google Drive or upload it to our Facebook Messenger. Let's make this National Anti-Bullying Month epic for our new international friend. This is your on-air team ambassador, Brielle, signing out. Bye.